What's going on everybody? Today we are going to do more of a CrossFit slash Olympic weightlifting style workout. And it's gonna be one of my favorite workouts, which is a power clean EMOM. And we'll go over what that movement means. Um, so this is more so for intermediate to advanced lifters, but feel free to give this a go if you have a barbell. First things first, we are gonna go ahead and do a warm up. So because we are doing Olympic weightlifting, we're gonna be using our wrists quite a bit. I always like to start this off by doing a little bit of a wrist warm up sequence for about 30 seconds. So I have my hands on the ground here. The majority of the weight is in the palm of my hands and I'm just rocking back and forward here. You can feel free to flip your hands around putting the majority of the weight onto your heels here while trying to keep the majority of the weight on your palms. You'll notice that I have the mic up on my little hipster hat here. The reason for that is uh, since I'm doing cleans and I'm catching it here, I don't wanna like destroy the mic or just give you guys ridiculous uh, sounds in your ears. That won't be fun. Up next, we're just gonna do whatever your favorite hip opener sequence is. I'm gonna keep it very simple. Right leg's gonna come forward into a lunge, or sorry, left leg's forward into a lunge position. Both hands are on the ground here, squeezing my glutes to open up my hips. And I'm simply going to switch legs. Right leg is forward now. That left knee is down on the ground, squeezing my glutes. I'm just going back and forth here, holding each opener for about anywhere from three to five seconds. And we're gonna do this work for anywhere from 30 to 45 seconds, just getting my body primed. We are going to include a little bit of a barbell warm up to get us all ready for those cleans as well. And the way I like to do my EMOMs, so we're doing a 15 minute power clean EMOM. That's pretty long. The reason for it is I actually like to include the first couple of sets to almost be my warm up sets, right? So I don't really start to get into, you know, those more challenging weights until about five or seven minutes into it. So sitting down on the ground here, if you guys did my squat warm or my squat video, you would have known that this is one of my favorite warm ups. We're gonna do some sky reaches. Right hand grabs left shin, left hand comes up into the sky and switching. From the last video I did, no, my thoracic mobility has not increased, as you can tell here. Bit of a struggle bus, that's all right. That's two, two, we're doing a total of 10 here. Five each side, this is three. I also haven't gotten better at counting my reps as I'm working. Like, I think this is four, but who knows? Let's do an extra one just in case. There's five, five. We're gonna go straight into toe grab squats. So sitting nice and low here, chest is nice and high. I'm gonna grab my toes. I'm gonna shoot my hips up to the sky, holding here for a second or two, feeling that nice stretch in my hamstrings and back down. You guys can go at your own pace. Give me 10 toe grab squats. Don't worry if I finish before you or after you. You just go at your own pace. Weight is primarily on my heels for my toe grab squats. Oh, these hamstrings, they're tight. They are tight. So if you're looking to increase your abilities with some of the Olympic lifts, one of my favorite ways to do that in more of a CrossFit style workout is with EMOMs. And you can feel free to adjust the time. Maybe you don't need to do every minute on the minute. Maybe you go ahead and you do every 90 seconds or you do every two minutes, similar to what we did for our back squats. Um, especially if you're, you're uh, trying to challenge yourself on the amount of weight that you're lifting, then obviously I would increase um, the duration of uh, how often you're working, just so you can give your body a chance to rest. Today is almost a mix of focusing on that technique work working on our aerobic conditioning, as well as uh, you know, trying to challenge ourselves a little bit with the weight that we're putting on the bar. Last thing, I always like to include this in any sort of power clean, clean, power snatch, snatch workout. So any Olympic lifting that I'm doing, I don't know what to call them. I like to call them stomp the yards. 
So we're in this, what we call our triple extension position. I'm up on my toes and all I'm going to do is I'm going to land flat foot. I want to hear you stomp the yard and elbows are coming up into that clean position. So I'm here catching here catching. Let's go ahead. Give me five more. That's three, four, five, two more, six, Last one, seven. The reason I like that as a warm up is it just starts to get your body thinking of what that clean is going to look at, right? We're in this triple extension position. We're realistically jumping, catching flat foot into our power position. So you guys can grab your barbells. We're going to start with our barbell warm up. If you have a preferred barbell warm up that you'd like to do, feel free to do so. If you want to use mine, it is fairly simple. So what I like to do, I start off by doing five deadlifts. So my deadlifts, I like to think of just like I'm going to be doing a clean. So my butt isn't necessarily as high as it may be in like a traditional conventional deadlift. You might see some power lifters do. So we see here, shoulders are over the bar, butt's a little bit low here, pushing those knees out, standing up. That's one rep. That's two. We're not trying to rush these movements getting everything primed and ready to go. I think that's four <laughs> and then that's five. Next, we're going to be going into a clean extension. We have clean extensions and clean pulls and extension. I'm not going to be bending at my elbow to bring that bar up. So we're in that deadlift position. We're going to be standing up, coming up into his triple extension. I'm shrugging my shoulders and I'm up on my toes. What we're looking for here is you should be pretty balanced where you can hang out on your toes for a second or two. If we notice that we come right back down to our heels, that just shows us that we're not necessarily balanced throughout the movement. All right. So show me control. I'm just doing five reps here. Nice shrug at the top, hanging out for a second or two on those toes. I'm hoping with the uh, mic on my hat, you guys might not be able to hear me breathe as loud, which would be great. Next, we're just going to do a muscle snatch or sorry, muscle clean. So same thing, deadlifting, bringing that bar all the way into that front rack position. What we're trying to focus on here is that turnover, driving those elbows through, keeping that bar nice and close. We don't want any of this reverse curl action. That's no bueno. Okay. Think of keeping that bar close, driving your elbows through. We'll do one more. Fantastic. Last but not least, we're going to go into the power clean, which is what we're doing today for our lift. So I'm here. We're going to do a full power clean here. Catching. Nice. Four more. Go at your own speed. Try to keep that bar nice and close. Thinking of a higher hip contact. That's three. Four, one more, five, and finish it off. Five front squats. Trying to do your best to get a full grip on that bar. Weight is evenly distributed throughout our whole foot, pushing those knees out. That's our barbell warm up. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to get our clock ready. Same as last video. I'm going to have a little timer at the bottom left or right of the screen for you guys to follow along. Okay. So as a reminder, we are doing a 15 minute power clean EMOM. EMOM meaning every minute on the minute, we're going to do a certain amount of reps. The rep scheme that we've chosen for today, we're going to do five sets or five minutes of three reps. Then we're going to do seven minutes of two reps, and then we'll have the final three minutes as single reps. Focus for today is going to be on that technique. Okay. We are going to be working pretty quickly, right? This is sort of mimicking what it might feel like in a metabolic conditioning uh, workout. So we're going fairly quick, but I don't want us for, to forget about technique during our rest periods. I'm just going to share some best practices with you guys as well. Don't feel like you need to do the same rep scheme. If you would rather treat it as doing threes for the 15 minutes or singles or doubles, do whatever you would like. This is um, the way I usually like to do it because it kind of warms me up into the heavier weights and into those doubles and those singles. 
but you do you. So I have 15s on my bar right now. We are gonna start off with a set of three and we're gonna be going in 10 seconds. So remember, keep that bar close. I wanna hear, I wanna hear your feet catching that bar today, okay? Woo, so first minute, here we go. Three reps. So once again, you're not gonna have a lot of time in between here. I just completed three wet reps. I have about 40 seconds of rest. Some best practices. I don't want you guys banging that bar really low on your quad. Sometimes people have a habit of really doing this hardcore um, bar bang and they'll smash just above their knee. That's not ideal. A more efficient movement, we want that bar contact to be a little bit higher. A way that you can test that out is actually putting chalk on the bar. That will let you see where you're actually making contact. So we're going again in three, two, one. Whew. Trying to keep that bar nice and close. Finishing that pull, standing nice and tall. Driving those elbows through. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of weight. This is actually the hardest part of the EMOMs, <laughs> is trying to add weight in that given minute. You gotta move pretty quick. I feel like I'm a F1, what's it called, pit stop crew. Okay, so we got three more sets of three. We got 15 seconds. Remember, keeping that bar nice and close. I wanna hear those feet catching, driving those elbows through. I know there's a lot to think about today. I want you to focus on just one or two cues. Here we go. Last one for me. Three. Whew. I'll add a little bit of weight, why not? Uh, we'll go with tens. So, how are you feeling? We're three sets in. Realistically, our heart rates might be a little bit elevated right now and that's okay. This is where we need to remain composed. Still think of the technique, right? These movements are so technique focused. That's why I am a big fan of them. We got five seconds here. I'm not gonna talk near as much. You'll notice, I'm not touching going, right? I'm not um, right from the first rep going straight into the second rep. I am resetting at the bottom every single rep. Reason for that, because I still wanna focus on that technique. When we do touch and go, a lot of the times, we start to get a little bit sloppy, right? We lose our back, our butt comes up too fast. Doing these singles or resetting at the bottom every time is a great way of ensuring we're giving every single rep the time and the focus that it deserves. So five seconds, this is our last set of three. Let's go. All right. Go into doubles. So, I know things I have to work on. I have a tendency, when the bar is a little bit light, to short my pull. Meaning that I'm not tall in that triple extension position. 
Maybe you have the same issue. You'll often hear people say, oh, it's so hard to lift the bar when it's really light or it's difficult to lift an empty bar. That's because their technique isn't perfect, right? So spend time with that empty bar. Don't rush adding too much weight. Oh, quick, on to doubles. All right. Woo. Catch your breath. We're on doubles now. We got seven sets of doubles. So a lot of time here. As you notice, doubles, you might be able to feel like you can lift a lot more. Don't worry too, too much on the weight. Focus on the technique. Focus on the technique under fatigue. That's really what this EMOM is supposed to mimic, is when you're tired, how are you still upholding that technique? So I have 135 on the bar right now. For myself, it's nothing crazy and that's okay. Don't necessarily worry about trying to have the weight I have. If you're going way, way more heavier, that's okay as well. But focus on keeping that bar close, driving those elbows through, another double here. With power cleans, the way I interpret a power clean is the intent behind it. The intent is that I'm trying to catch it below parallel. If I catch it below parallel and I ride it down a little bit just because maybe I'm not, uh, I didn't catch it properly, in my eyes, that's still a power clean. A full clean is when you go into it with the intent that you're going to catch it below parallel. Okay, so don't necessarily worry too, too much about Am I catching it below parallel? Did my hips drop just a little bit below? It's fine. If you go into it with the intent of catching strong, then it's a power in my eyes. Five seconds. Two, one. One more here. This workout goes quick. We're already eight minutes into it. I'm gonna add maybe some tens. Why not? Why not? Technique is feeling okay. Some common issues you might be facing. If you're jumping forward, right? When I'm here and I jump forward in my catch, what that most likely means is that you're hitting that bar a little bit too low above your knee or just above your knee, which is then causing you to try to catch that bar, meaning you have to jump forward. To fix that, focus on keeping that bar close, trying to have a higher contact with the bar. Two, one. There we go. Oh, I haven't done a clean EMOM in a while, not gonna lie. It's taken a lot out of me, but it's good. I'm trying to stay composed, trying to keep my breath controlled. Remember, with any sort of Oli lift, you're bringing that bar to your hip. You don't necessarily wanna make your hips meet the bar. I know that sounds very similar, but the difference between it is my my hips hitting the bar is gonna cause that bar to shoot out in front of me. If I'm bringing my hips towards the bar, that's gonna allow for a lot of a straighter bar path. Got five, four more sets left. We're almost heading into our singles. Okay. 
at about 20 seconds. I don't know about you guys, but I'm out of breath. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. That's okay. We got 10 seconds before we got to go. I'm going to keep this weight on the bar for now. Might add a little bit more once we get to, to singles, but I want to focus on that technique today. Let's go. Nice high hip contact here. Whew. I know, I don't have clips on the bar. I have a clip right in front of me, but I don't know where the other one is. So we're just gonna stick with this for now. So, we have, what, four sets left? If you guys want to add a little bit more weight, feel free to do so. Pick a few cues that you're focusing on. Once again, for me right now and today, I'm thinking of really driving those elbows through, so nice and fast under the bar. And I'm also thinking of finishing my pull. All right. So, now we're moving on to singles. Once again, if you want to stay at the same weight that you have right now, that's A-OK. -okay. If you want to add a little bit, that's fine as well. I'm just going to go up maybe five pounds per minute. We're going to our first single in about 15 seconds. So big pull here, keep that bar nice and close. No bar banging, I don't want us chasing that bar. Keep that bar close. Move those feet out, I wanna hear those feet. Think stomp the yard. Here we go, first single. There we go. NASCAR pit crew, add more weight on here. So once again, if you're just looking for ways to change up your CrossFit or your Olympic weightlifting training, this is a good way to do that. You could do EMOMs with full cleans, snatches, whatever it may be. But make sure you always have around at least 30 seconds of rest because we still want to give the, uh, the lift, the, the focus and the intention that it, it deserves. So I'm not really trying to rush through them here. Got seven seconds, we only have two more singles left. Here we go. Keeping that bar nice and close, nice big pull. Good. If anyone's ever lifted with me or a bunch of Olympic weightlifters, we almost sound like psychopaths because You'll hear us when we're on the platform or before we're lifting. We'll like repeat things to ourselves. And that's usually, you know, the, uh, the one thing your coach wants you to focus on. So mine is usually big pull, keep it close. Just like a crazy person. We got one more rep to go. And then we're all done. Whew. Once again, you can shorten this EMOM. You can make this EMOM go a little bit longer. It's just nice to have that timer, right? To keep that flow going. We got our last rep in three seconds. You got it. Big pull, keep it close. <laughs> Done. That is it. That is all. Hopefully you guys got at least a few little cues or tips and tricks on uh, Olympic weightlifting, specifically with EMOMs and cleans and power cleans. If you guys have any questions or you want to see different videos, please don't hesitate to comment down below. Thanks guys. Bye for now.